Myocardial ischemia, injury, and infarct must be recognized on the ECG. This is Scott Siegel, and this video goes over this. For simplicity, ischemia and injury refer to a temporary loss of oxygen to the myocardial cells. When this happens, the ECG machine sees isolated symmetrical T-wave inversion or ST-segment depression in contiguous myocardial leads. Contiguous means that the leads are anatomically near each other. For example, leads 2, 3, and AVF represent the inferior wall. Leads V1 and V2 represent the septum and posterior walls. Leads V3 and V4 represent the anterior wall. Leads V5 and V6 represent the lateral wall. And leads 1 and AVL represent the high lateral wall. This ECG has symmetrical isolated T-wave inversion in the inferior leads, 2, 3, and AVF. This is inferior ischemia. Lastly, this ECG shows ST-segment depression in the anterior and lateral leads, V3, V4, V5, and V6. We will call this anterolateral ischemia. The term infarction refers to death of the tissue. In the setting of a patient having crushing chest pain, an ECG with ST-segment elevation in two or more contiguous leads should be viewed as an acute heart attack and needs immediate attention. This 65-year-old man presented to the emergency room complaining of severe substernal chest pressure that started an hour earlier. If you look at leads 2, 3, and AVF, the ST segments are elevated above baseline. This patient is having an acute inferior wall myocardial infarction. If the complete width of heart muscle is infarcted or dead, it cannot conduct electrical currents at all and we see a Q wave. Q waves are considered significant if they are greater than 0.04 seconds or one little box wide and greater than one fourth the height of the R wave. Now notice that based on Q waves alone, I did not say whether the myocardial infarction is acute, recent, age undetermined, or old. The timing of the myocardial infarction is estimated by the ST and T waves, and they follow a pattern of evolution based on the age of the myocardial infarction. Thank you for watching this abridged two and a half minute sample video about myocardial ischemia and infarction. The full video from the course contains much more detail and examples but hopefully this gives you a taste of what we offer.